What's up guys? We're here in Granada and in this video we're gonna show you our top things to do here. So hope you enjoy it. Granada is located in the southern region of Andalusia in Spain. Brimming with history, culture, and breathtaking beauty, this is our favorite city in the region. At its center stands the world-famous Alhambra Palace, a UNESCO marvel of Islamic architecture. In fact, Granada was once the last Islamic stronghold in Spain, and therefore boasts a unique blend of Moorish and Christian influences. In this video, we highlight 10 of the best things to do in and around Granada. Now let's dive in. We are Zach and Ina. We make helpful videos about destinations around the world so you can easily plan your own adventures. Located in the heart of Granada, the San Jerónimo Monastery was founded in 1492 by the Catholic monarchs. It's a true architectural gem, with an elaborate facade, two serene cloisters, and a church with beautiful mural paintings on its ceilings and walls. At the time of our visit, it was six euros to enter. This is a quick activity that can easily be combined with other monuments in the city center. Granada boasts Spain's most unique tapas culture. Unlike other Spanish cities, you actually get a free tapa with every drink order in Granada. This tradition dates back centuries and has become a social ritual. It provides a great motivation to hop around the bars in the city center and try a variety of dishes. Find a link to our blog post and Google map with all our favorite tapas bar recommendations in the description below the video. The Granada Cathedral is a masterpiece of Spanish Renaissance, which reigns supreme in the city center. Construction began in the 16th century, blending Gothic and Renaissance styles. Marvel at its facade, adorned with intricate carvings and a sky-high interior. Just like the monastery, this monument had a six euros cover fee at the time of our visit and can easily be combined with other attractions. Take a stroll through Granada's history on Carrera del Daro. This charming path runs alongside the Daro River, connecting Plaza Nueva to Paseo de los Tristes. The cobblestone street winds around 16th century buildings, convents, two old bridges, and tons of tourist facilities. You'll also find amazing views of the Alhambra Palace along the way, which is perched above the path on the opposite hillside, adding to the romantic vibe. The Sacro Monte Hills in Granada are known for their unique cave dwellings, some of which are still inhabited today. When you walk Barreda de En Medio Street, you'll see some of these traditional cave houses from the outside. But to learn more about this fascinating history and culture, visit the Sacro Monte Caves Museum. This open-air museum showcases recreated traditional homes carved right into the rock face. You can take a look inside these houses, complete with furnishings, pottery, and tools. At the same time, you'll learn about the gypsy community, who traditionally inhabited these caves.
Towering high above Granada, Sierra Nevada National Park boasts Spain's highest peaks, some reaching over 3,000 meters or 9,800 feet. The park offers a network of hiking trails that traverse its diverse landscapes. We hiked near the town of Monachil, which sits at the edge of the national park and is easily accessible by bus service 183 from Granada. You can also take a taxi or Uber here. The exhilarating hike we did was called Cajoros de Monachil, which boasts amazing panoramas of the Sierra Nevada peaks. After crossing precarious bridges, you'll wind your way through narrow canyons on a walkway that's built into the cliff face. The trail is not always very well marked here, so it's best to download an offline map and we use All Trails, which has the complete route on it. Granada has a vibrant flamenco scene, which is thanks to its historical significance and the abundance of talented artists who live here. The city boasts numerous flamenco venues, which range from traditional caves in the Sacromonte neighborhood to modern theaters. We watched a one-hour flamenco show in La Alborea, located in the heart of Granada. It was a unique cultural experience, and we highly recommend watching a show at least once. Find a link to the one we booked in the description below the video. Perched on Granada's hillside, you can find the charming neighborhoods of Albaicin and Sacromonte. Sacromonte is famous for its cave dwellings and sweeping views. Albaicin, on the other hand, is the old Moorish quarter, boasting narrow winding streets and whitewashed houses. Getting lost in the labyrinth streets of these two neighborhoods is the best way to discover their hidden corners and vibrant local life. But for a deeper dive into the area's history and stories, consider booking a walking tour. Most of the streets here are made of cobblestone and they also go either up or down the hill with lots of stairs, so make sure you wear good shoes when you explore these neighborhoods. Granada is filled with viewpoints, which are called miradors in Spanish. All of these offer amazing panoramas of the Alhambra and city. You can find most of these scattered throughout the Albaicin and Sacromonte neighborhoods. The iconic Mirador de San Nicolás boasts the most famous vista, where you'll see the Alhambra set against the Sierra Nevada mountains. You can expect lots of crowds here, but if you want to avoid the hustle and bustle, there are a few restaurants and bars right in front of this viewpoint. For a quieter experience, head to the Mirador de la Barrera de En Medio or the Sacromonte viewpoint. Our favorite panorama was San Miguel Alto, sitting high above the city and unveiling a different perspective. We suggest getting to this Mirador about an hour before sunset to catch the full golden hour experience. No trip to Granada is complete without exploring the Alhambra, which stands on top of a hill overlooking the city. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is a dazzling complex of palaces, fortresses, and gardens. 
In fact, throughout history, this complex has served multiple purposes. The Nasrid palaces were the royal residence of the Nasrid dynasty, housing Islamic architecture with intricate carvings, serene courtyards, and reflecting pools. The Al Qasaba fortress, with its high ramparts and defensive towers, whispers tales of its defensive past. And the Henarelife Gardens, a former summer palace, features vibrant flowers and great city views. It takes about three hours to visit the entire complex. And since this is Spain's most popular tourist attraction, you need to book your tickets well before you get to Granada. Sometimes tickets sell out a month or more in advance. We left a link to book your Alhambra tickets in the description below the video. If you're going to more destinations in Andalusia, make sure to check out our video about the top destinations to visit in this enchanting region. We included can't miss places, some hidden gems, and important travel tips for this area. And if you're planning your Spain trip, we recommend keeping things organized with our interactive travel planner. Find a discount code in the description below the video. We also included other important links in the description that will help you with your Granada experience, such as an interactive map to get to each place that we mentioned. We'll catch you on the next adventure.